The garden can be a tough taskmaster at this time of year, and with more jobs to be done and less time to do it with those shorter days, here are five easy steps to keep your garden clean, clear, and colorful as we head into winter. Number one, look after your lawn. Damp can cause disease and moisture equals mushrooms, both of which make for a lackluster lawn. Believe it or not, milder autumn days are a great time to start feeding, seeding, and even scarifying your lawn. And here's a top tip, use an autumn feed. Don't be tempted to use up old summer supplies. Pick a potassium and phosphorus rich autumn feed to ensure your lawn overwinters in the best health possible. Number two, whilst we're on our lawns, whatever you do, don't leave the leaves. You won't believe the damage this blanket of brown can cause to your lawns, patios, and paving. It's time to blow, bag, and mulch those loose leaves. And let's face it, who doesn't enjoy using a leaf blower? Especially a 48 volt cordless leaf blower from Greenworks with brushless motor technology and turbo button. Now here's a top tip, turn that nuisance into nutrition. Add some moisture to your bagged up leaves and park them in a shady spot over the winter. This will create mineral rich mulch to top dress your beds and borders come the spring. Number three, on the subject of soil, don't let your dirt down. Wet weather can spoil your soil, so get busy in your beds and borders. It's time to start tilling, turning, aerating, and oxygenating your soil to stop a seasonal slump. Remember, happy and healthy hummus makes for a robust root system, and that will ensure your plants are protected over the wetter and darker days. And here's a top tip. It can be tough to turn over your terrain, so why not use a tiller to tackle this task for you? Number four, with your soil looking splendid, it's time to animate our autumn and prepare for a wonderful winter. Autumn and winter bedding are a great way to bulk out your beds and borders and add some seasonal sparkle and festive foliage. Now, if it's color you're after, why not add primula, pansies, violas, or even cyclamen to brighten up your beds? But if you're already feeling a little bit festive, I don't think you can beat Schemia japonica or Nandina domestica for some winter warmth and to give your beds a festive flourish. When it comes to planting at this time of year, here's a top tip. Winter plants are a gardener's gift. They want for very little in the way of maintenance, so once planted, simply sit back, relax, and enjoy those winter wonders. And number five, the leaves have fallen, allowing us to cast our eyes up to the canopies. Check your trees routinely for fungal infection and browse the branches for storm damage. It's time for some proactive pruning, so use a pole chainsaw to fell before it falls. And my final top tip, whenever using any cutting tool, always dress appropriately. Wear safety hat, gloves, and goggles, and add some tough trousers and work boots to the equation to work safely and effectively. Well, hopefully those few tips help you on your way before you settle down for some horticultural hibernation over the winter, but didn't go anywhere because you will not believe what we've got in store this winter. It's belief, Could the pun, belief, not belief. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You won't believe what we have in store this winter. Did you say belief then? Belief. Belief what we have in store Win this winter. After you say leave. What's the line again? You won't believe what we have in store this winter.